So I'm going to make sure to uh, add the three quarters to this. Now, most of the time, I'll add just 11 sixteenths to these, uh, these six right here. And that way, they don't bottom out. And the comb bottoms out on on these, so I don't, you know, I don't take a chance with one of these holding holding the comb up. But when I measured that, I saw that I was 13 sixteenths on all of those. Uh, so, yeah, I've got I've got the safety valve there, so I can go ahead and mark what I want three quarters. those marks and now I'll take them over and lay them on the bench and saw them off. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is about the only way I can figure out how to saw these things is lay it down right like that. Tail sort of gets in the way and I got my old Japanese saw with all the broken teeth on it. I'm going to have to replace that thing. You know I don't do a lot of sawing and uh, uh, so but, but still I should have a decent saw. <laughs> off and I just fitted them. A couple of them were just a little bit heavy and I was able to, I've got this small little uh, concave spoke shave that when I need to take off just a tad bit I can just get it right in there right like that and uh, so I don't have to take the whole chair apart in order to, to, to make them fit if I'm a, if I'm a little heavy and uh, every one of those was, was just a little bit heavy but now they they fit pretty good. It should should go on. So we'll, of course this is a exercise in frustration right here. And I usually don't put it on from this side. I'm trying to do it for the camera. I might if it doesn't work I'm gonna go around and sit down in the seat and do it. Because uh, that's where I usually do it from. That's, I'll just <laughs> This is where I can see what's what's uh, what's going on. Run through a pla practice run or two, and then you'd be ready to do it with glue on it. That's always fun. Okay, how are we looking over here? Good. Okay. on if you find it hanging up it's usually the back that needs to go down that's what I find with me I'm, I'm usually bringing these down faster and I'm bringing the back down
Okay, let's do some. There's a nice fit all the way across through there. Let's do some uh, measuring now. See if we got what we wanted. 28 and 3 8 and 28 and 3 8 now I'm going to look at it from up above and just see if everything's looking like it's flaring evenly another thing I'll do is I can put winding sticks on it Maybe I can. There we go. Let's see what we got there. Oh, I don't want to mess with that. That's really good. Well, I don't get to show you how I'd fix that, but I'll tell you how I'd fix that. <clears throat> Sometimes you put this thing together and you'll get the cone that's kind of cattywampus, right, like that. And uh, uh, that doesn't look too good. So the spindles that are the Crookedest have the most bow on them. I put them on the outside here and I bow them this way So all I got to do is take my Sheet metal vice grips the one that I turned these with to straighten up the back and I can turn these outside spindles and Pull that outside spindle all the way around to where it curves that way if I have to and it will just pull that cone and straighten that comb up. Now you got to keep an eye on the center spindle because it can also pull it over a little bit. Uh, in fact, there's been times when I've taken every one of these spindles and turned them 180 degrees to get that comb straight. But uh, this one is just sitting, sitting perfect. That's what that's what I like. Um, I, I really don't see anything I'd want to change on it. Look at it right like that. The spindles have really good spacing uh, all the way up. Uh, um, you know, and then I could I could go down here and move them around a little bit and change change the spacing. If one's crook is, if I want to hide it, I could uh, I could hide it. And you know, words if it had a crook that I could view from this side, I might be able to turn it and put that crook in this plane and you wouldn't see it from the from the front but uh, I, I really don't believe I can improve on that there's my pencil so I'm going to mark position here on this I always put V marks from my old carpenter days. And uh, and everything's down tight, so this is where I want it to go back to. And up here, same thing. Um, so, what we have left right now is uh, those uh, brace spindles in the back. And um, so next time, that's what I'll show you how to do.